Kevin, you are not the star, baby. Okay, and you can't keep your 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 your, your eggplant in your pants, sweetie. That's not cute. to be here how you doing how you doing how are you i'm doing all right thank you so much for asking honey today i am here on my birthday weekend i wasn't even supposed to film a sit down video but last night y'all i took a couple gummies and i decided to watch the wendy williams movie i was so excited to watch this movie you guys oh my gosh i've been waiting for it i'm a huge wendy fan if you know me i love wendy i watch ask wendy compilations on youtube all the time i love wendy i know wendy can be problematic but honey she is that auntie to me okay we all have an auntie that we love who might say inappropriate things but at the end of the day you still love her okay that's how i think about wendy you may say whatever you want to say about wendy but one thing you cannot say is that woman is not entertaining so when i heard the movie was coming out i was so excited to watch it and I decided to watch it last night now last night like I said I had a couple gummies honey so I was on one okay so <laughs> while I was watching it I'm like oh my gosh I need to do a review on this because this is so good I started writing down some key notes that I wanted to talk about when I heard the movie was coming out I was really excited and like a lot of people I saw that trailer thing they had on Instagram where it was basically the scene where she was passing out and I also saw the other clip when she was gonna get her breasts done and Kevin was like in the room or whatever I remember watching that and thinking this looks like a low budget lifetime movie like first of all honey the set design like I was really not impressed so I remember having very low standards okay I was like okay this movie's not gonna be that good this actress is not good but honey I was shook last night I was highly impressed and I think they did a really really good job it gave me a little bit of the I got sent to the ER type of reenactment <laughs> scenes but in a good way it kind of worked and because wendy's personality is so animated and just extra it's kind of hard to take her seriously sometimes so that's why like in the trailer that i watched it seemed like the actress wasn't a great actress but wendy is that animated yes doctor i want them that big large in charge voluptuous show-stopping it seems overdone and fake but that's how wendy is first thing i wanted to talk about is the actress um i don't know her name but she did an amazing job playing wendy okay you guys i don't know if it was the edibles but there were some points of me watching the movie where i thought she looked like wendy too it's weird because she doesn't actually resemble Wendy at all, but she did such an amazing job at playing Wendy's character, the way Wendy talks, the way Wendy's extra. Like, she did such a good job with the Jersey accent, her teeth, her eyes. I mean, everything she was doing. Like, she was embodying Wendy, okay? She didn't have to look like Wendy. Everything she was doing was Wendy. So I think they did a really good job with that, with the costume designs, with the hair. I even felt like at some point she was, like, opening her eyes a lot the way Wendy does. I think she did an amazing amazing job um one thing though that i did find funny i don't know about you but edibles make me very uh, intuitive and I, I read into a lot of things so one thing i found a little bit funny was when the actress was talking about how fat she is or how she wanted to get lipo because the actual actress in the movie was very skinny i'm just sick of how my outside doesn't match who i am in here so it's kind of weird to see her be that thin talking about how she needs lipo and all that so i do wish they made her chunky for that scene i don't know it was weird it's probably me just reading way into it overall the actress did an amazing job i was very very impressed seeing wendy's mom was sad seeing reference to her in the movie it was sad because as you guys know if you're a wendy fan um wendy's mother just passed not too long ago they actually just had her funeral so it was really kind of sad to see that because as a wendy watcher i've watched wendy since i was like 14. i've seen her mom on and off the show so many times and so seeing her in the movie it was just a little bit sad rest in peace to wendy's mother she will be greatly missed but seeing the way wendy grew up too as a fat girl and constantly being told she needs to lose weight and getting made fun of in school i could relate to that a lot because i grew up fat <laughs> honey <laughs> i'm huge okay so it was kind of sad seeing that i'm a fat black girl who broke the chair but she gets to cry I know what it feels like to constantly compare yourself to like the, the thinner girls in school and stuff and I can imagine how that took a toll on her and like family because I remember for me when I was a kid whenever we went back home to Zimbabwe everybody want to call you fat like it's some kind of compliment I guess in Zimbabwe it's not like necessarily a compliment but it's not an insult but it's just like everybody having something to say about your weight but how about your teeth okay let's talk about your hairline it's an even you always want to talk about my weight girl but I don't talk about that eye that never seems to look at me in the eye. Damn! 
I digress. Okay, so I can understand. <laughs> so that's something that I could definitely relate to Wendy with. And also on her show, whenever somebody has asked Wendy about weight, Wendy always cries. She's always very sensitive to that. And I can see why, because seeing how what she went through and like how I also watched the Wendy documentary. I'm currently watching it, I'm not done yet, but she was talking about like how she tried being bulimic for some time, but then she read that this actress, her teeth started going bad, so she stopped. So it was really a great insight to who Wendy is because people always make fun of Wendy and her appearance. Nobody ever thinks about how that makes her feel. I know Wendy makes fun of a lot of people, talks a lot of trash about a lot of people, but she's still human and it still hurts to hear it. So it was, it was nice to get an insight because we, as a Wendy watcher, I always knew that Wendy struggles with that, but seeing her childhood and seeing where it all comes from, I thought they did a good job on that. Like trigger warning for anybody watching this, but we did see her sexual assault that happened with her and that artist, and then when she had to terminate one of her pregnancies with, um, she never really talked too deep about that relationship, but with this man, and even the struggle she had conceiving with Kevin. So seeing her open up about those really traumatic moments in her life was really nice and one thing about wendy is she's very resilient she was talking about the sexual assault and like she said i just kept it moving i did this i did this that's great that she didn't let that slow her down but i think it's also okay to feel like it's okay to be upset about those things happening because we're human and those are traumatic events so it was really interesting to see i mean she's always been like that on her show but like the way she just talks about it like it's nothing and she didn't end up naming the guy she has been through a lot she talked about her pregnancies and stuff on the talk show but just seeing like that she went through two five month um terms like carrying the child and then having complications that was really sad like watching also the way kevin was there for her during that i can see why she's so attached to kevin because she said that he was still supportive to her um, with all those miscarriages and still wanted to have a baby with her and i think they did a really good job at showcasing wendy and kevin's relationship because they definitely showed us why Wendy loved him so much like he was her protector like even when he came to the radio station when those um, group members wanted to beat her up Come in. Come in. You all right? okay. he was there at her rescue or even like being there for her through all the miscarriages like you can see why Wendy had such an attachment to him also he was her manager uh, one thing I also liked about the movie is anytime somebody would try and block Wendy she didn't allow it okay she always said this is what I want this is what I'm gonna make happen and she never took no for an answer so I I thought that was really inspiring like especially when she was working at that radio station and they're like whoa well, you're gonna be suspended but you can't get a job at another New York station so she went to Philadelphia to work there are you gonna let me back on the air again or not I have no idea hmm. you're about to have a heart attack I thought that was so inspiring because like you should never let people cap how successful you can be if you believe you can do it you keep going and you keep doing it and to see what Wendy came from to what she has now it's incredible she always never takes no for an answer I thought was really inspiring and just to see that working because for me personally I started watching Wendy on her show I never listened to her on the radio I was very very young when she had a radio show so like I wouldn't have been listening so it was really nice to kind of see where she came from how hard she's worked and see all of that it's very inspiring especially as a black woman who wasn't conventionally attractive I'm sure it was even harder for her to get to those places so I was just really impressed and I think they did a good job at showing how great Wendy is like she was a pioneer of this whole gossip uh, segments in radio shows and stuff like that and she does it in a different way like everybody a lot of people don't like Wendy because they think she takes it too far but that's why a lot of people do like her okay because in reality when you're talking to your friends on the phone Honey, you guys, you guys trash tag. Okay, Wendy is that girlfriend who says too much, okay? But like she says it on TV and she doesn't care. So I think you can only respect that to some degree because she has her hustle and she really built her own lane. <laughs> I wrote Kevin was a dog. I don't know what I meant by this, but <laughs> so Kevin being a dog, honey, Kevin died. Um, Wendy out. First time we knew Kevin was a dog was when Wendy had just had Lil Kev and she overheard him on the phone talking to this girl and he was like this is nothing I just broke up with her and then I guess Wendy finds out that this mistress is living a couple blocks away from her so Wendy goes and like spray paints the house and says Wendy and Kevin forever so you can kind of see also Wendy's still in love with him delusional we all have a friend honey who's been delusional for a man who ain't no good for her so Wendy spray painted on the house and then we also see where Wendy finds out that the woman is pregnant she's she's pregnant 
and so now Wendy is freaking out I don't know if it was just the edibles or they didn't really explain much but I think Kevin put her in rehab because he was doing it because he knew the story was about to come out or if he was doing it because he didn't want her to leave him or if he actually thought she was gonna relapse I have no idea why he did it but I thought that was really really messed up because he took her weakness and played her with it and she had no choice but to stay in that recovery home because I guess he made it seem like she was I don't know I know she was drinking a lot so maybe he did save her from herself I don't know I thought that was really really messed up like she had no communication with the outside world she couldn't find out her hot topic so I thought that was just really messed up and the fact that she was going in and out that car and then she ran out of the taxi so she could go have a, a meeting with her lawyers I really do think Kevin set that up because he didn't want to lose being her manager and like lose the spot and I think he just saw everything spiraling so he thought let's just put her in this recovery home and everything will be okay I have no idea why he did it but it was just really crazy that she had to run away like when you see Wendy Williams you don't think that she's kind of like a prisoner in her own life that they are picking her up and dropping her off and I remember that episode when she told us about how she's been living in a recovery home I have been living in a sober house and I remember being so confused because I myself like the public I was seeing all the stuff that was going on about Kevin that I'm like recovery home I never seen anything about this so I don't know if they use that to kind of distract the audience I don't know but it was really really sad seeing all that happening and I'm really really proud of Wendy that she got out of that it was really sad to see that but really great to see that she got her lawyers together and separated things let's get me legally and financially free from Kevin Hunter and then all I'm gonna need is a divorce I mean, I'm sure Kevin Hunter did a lot of things to help Wendy, but at the end of the day, Wendy is Wendy. Honey, I would watch Wendy filming on her camera on her own, like a YouTube video talking about people, because Wendy is just entertaining, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, with everything she has to show and everything, Wendy is just, she's a special person. I hate to say it. I know some people go and disagree, but I think Wendy is so funny. And really, she don't need Kevin. I'm sure Kevin did a lot, but honey, Kevin, you are not the star, baby. Okay, and you can't keep your 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 eggplant in your pants, sweetie. That's not cute. Okay. Even in the documentary, sorry to go back from the documentary, but like even when Wendy talks about Kevin, she's so hurt. Like you can tell she really, really loved him and their love was intertwined. And I think also because Wendy I think has a certain level of low self-esteem because of her childhood and, and being made fun of and all that stuff that finding someone like Kevin who loved her as she was, it was something that probably felt really special to her and he probably made her think that she couldn't find anybody like him, but honey, you will, okay? Because Kevin ain't that cute, okay? His hairline is gone, honey, and he cheats, okay? Since I didn't write it down in my notes, I totally forgot to talk about the dude who played Kevin Hunter, but I think he did a really, really good job. He was good at playing that smooth uh, street kind of thug, but who knew the business and was attracting Wendy. I think they did such a good job casting for this movie. I was really, really impressed. Overall, you guys, I really, really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was good, and I know the acting and the, the filming it kind of gave cheap a lifetime vibes, but I think it worked for this movie because of Wendy. Wendy's personality being kind of extra. I can't. Wendy's super over dramatic. I love you for watching that. It kind of worked for me. I don't know. For some reason, I loved it. I also am a Wendy fan. And like I said, I was lit when I watched it. But I think they did a really, really good job on the movie. I'll definitely be watching it again sober to see if I still agree with that. I highly recommend you watch it if you're a Wendy fan. Or even if you're not a Wendy fan, I think her story is just amazing. And it shows what resilience and having a dream and not letting anybody tell you no does. I mean, it was a very inspiring story to watch. So I think even if you're not a Wendy fan, it was a great story and she really overcame a lot of things even this past cheating with Kevin I mean when she found out that man was no good for her she she let go and I remember being a fan watching the show thinking oh Wendy I really hope you don't stay with him because there were a lot of times where Wendy would address rumors and say look honey we're good over here and I was like Wendy so it was really nice to see that she's uh, done something for herself. I highly recommend you watch it. If you like gummies, honey, have a couple gummies and watch the movie. It's gonna be even better, girl. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for my Wendy Williams movie review. I highly recommend you watch it. Thank you so much for watching. Honey, if I'm looking a little bit more mature, it's because I am, baby. I'm 20-something, okay? You don't need to know my age, okay? But thank you so much for watching. And deuces. Don't worry.